Hey, all right, so what I'm working on Hudson with today is a little bit of loose leash walking fundamentals. Now, he's a natural, okay? Like, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with him um, as far as walking goes. We went on a pack walk with Macy, who is very jumbly when it comes to working with other dogs. So, what I, this, the purpose of this loose leash walking fundamentals is just that he knows that you are gonna make him work on the leash, okay? And that's why he's been just plopping down. Now, he's a big dog with a lot of hair and it's hot. So, you know, sometimes I can kind of understand if that's um, what he wants to do, but we need to know that he can move through uh, whenever his motivation gets a little low. So, you're gonna do a couple things. You're gonna keep like a ball, something in your pocket to use for motivation, something that he never gets any other time, okay? So I'm gonna try to do that with Miss Consuela, the cactus that I have right here. Now, this has been um, his favorite toy here. Um, and when I'm watching television at night, um, I do not like that to be here. Um, come on. Good. So loose leash walking fundamentals. Good, he's gonna stay within my training bubble. Sit, wait, touch. Okay, break. Good, let's go. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Hudson, get it, get it. Come on, good. Good, 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 good. So you wanna have little short bursts like this on his walk. I mean, you know, he's your only dog, so you know, your solo walk, down, drop, right here. So you see right here, he's gonna try to take over. That's his thing, come on. He wants to try to rig the system a little bit. So see, he doesn't normally do this until I introduce this. Come on, no. So look right here. This. Excuse me. I guess it can be your right foot, but I always use my left to make sure that he can't cross behind me. And then my right means you don't cross that way. Okay. Get that skeeter away from your eyeball. Get him away. I got your back, bud. Okay, break. So look at this. Look how he stays within this bubble. Go get it. Good. Now Hudson gets like some special treatment a little bit. Because I normally wouldn't drop a leash for somebody. Dog. Come on, up. Come on, let's go. So, boom, boom. Touch my hand. No, touch. Okay, shake. Good. Okay, break. And so, this is how you can start to work with his excitement levels, okay? When he's excited by a stimuli. Good. Get it. Okay. So that's okay for me because he's still in my control. Okay. So we're kind of pivoting a little bit. He's kind of getting a little bit of uh, and I'm sure this is what you want as a pet parent. He's getting very personalized videos. Now some things work for a multitude of dogs. For Hudson, he, he's different um, in a good way. He's very bright, very smart. Um, so what I do is I, I tweak things for him. You saw yesterday I was tweaking things. So I'm finding his motivational skills very solid. Good, good job, Hud. Good boy. Ah, 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 ah. Over here. Good. Get it. Get it. Get your toy. Hudson, come here. No, you gotta get up. Let's we'll just take it then. Up. Let's go. So I keep him motivated. So see, you have something like this, that's gonna start to prevent that stuff. So, but he is tired. He's done a lot and we just got back from a long, a long walk. So let's have a seat here. We're gonna kinda pivot this lesson a little bit. Oh no, it's falling. There we go. And so after you're done, of course, you know, we talked about this a little bit yesterday. You want to make sure that you're just kind of like sitting in the moment with him and letting him realize what he's been working on. Up. So you can even up, down. Good. So see, little stuff like that. As long as he moves a little bit for us, that's how I want him to be interacting. Uh-uh, no, no, no. No, sir. Okay, you can lay down right there. You can't roam around. But he's been outside a lot, a lot, a lot right now. And I'm drenched in sweat, which is inside. 
good boy. Good work. Good. Yeah. So you see how I've used toys to our advantage yesterday and today. So it's a great turn. It's a great way to keep him motivated. And look how he's, you know, I mean, I get, uh, 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 no, sir. No, uh, no, no, come on. Good. But I love this kind of stuff with him because it really starts to take him to the next level of working, it takes him to the next level of, you know, just staying calm and getting direction. We're just being a little bit naughty walking away, but you know, so simple stuff here. I want you to work on this two to five to 10 minutes in your front yard, okay? This is what I want you to start doing. Two minutes, okay? Once you guys get settled and move into the house, refer back to this video when the time comes, okay? But he's doing well, I'm proud of him. I think he's about kaput. So we're gonna sign off and uh, we're gonna be back tomorrow with some more fun stuff. Bye-bye.